Good evening, class. Howly dooly, everybody. My name is Mr. Borges, and I will be your high school teacher. <laughs> All right, now quiet. Quiet. Quiet! <clears throat> well, I take attendance. Do we have an orange jello? An orange jello. <laughs> hey, my name is Ron Jello, okay? Okay? Okay. Orange, you a feisty one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am sorry if I mispronounced this name, but do we have a fag? A fag? A Paul fag? Here. Growing up is often tough, especially for a geeky gay teen in Southwest Virginia. <laughs> Growing up, Paul Fig would have to often endure the E and I dropped out of his last name to be replaced for an A. But Paul will show us that social status and sexuality are meaningless. What matters is on the inside in Kick Me, Adventures in Adolescence by Paul Fig. It wasn't always this way. There was an advertisement on TV advertising Fig Newton cookies. And so my nickname became Fig Newton. But I would eventually come to find out that every high school boy gets called gay at one point or another in their years. Me more so than most because of my last name. Which is why I came to hate the name Rick. It seems like every girl I had a crush on was in love with one Rick or another. Hi, Rick. Did you see Rick? He is so hot. Girl, you need to go get Rick. He is so fine. <laughs> I didn't know how to say this but I need to be in a relationship with Rick. I love the way he smells! <laughs> Girl, what the funny thing was, I always wondered if hospitals had some kind of predetermined naming service based on their baby's future personalities. Well, Mr. Ramsey, I'm sure your baby will grow up to become quite the handsome fella. Yes, he will. He will persecute and humiliate all of the fellow boys in this room. <laughs> Well, I have some names picked out for you. Rick, 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 Rick. Yes, it seems like every high school girl was in love with one football fanatic Rick or another. And I've never been one much for sports, because on the first day of Little League, I was convinced that because I came dressed in the right attire, I would become a baseball prodigy. But as it turned out, my first year of Little League would become nothing short of a nightmare. All right, Slugger, we're going to get you out there, and you're going to hit that ball. All right, all right. Did anybody see that? Steer right one! Oh, 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 ooh, sorry guys. Looks like I pulled something in my hamstring. Oh, oh, looks like I'll need to go back to the dugout and cry. <laughs> Amazingly enough, my encounter with the baseball, coupled with the coaches, man handling up my body was only half as terrifying as being pitched at. But all good things must come to an end, right? My good thing came to an end when the coach called up my father and asked, where he been for the past four games? He hasn't even appeared. And so, with a heavy head, I showed up. When I got there, everyone on the team was asking me, where have you been for the past four games? You haven't shown. Uh, well, you, you see, my, 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 my mom, my, my mom, took me to go shopping. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that you've been missing our games for shopping? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, you all know how moms can be, right? Mine took me to go shopping. Yeah, we heard. Get this. She buy you a dress? On the subject of sports, there was always one class. There was always one class that I. <laughs> there was one class that I faced with stomach twisting dread every day, and that class was gym. Good talk, children! <laughs> I'm sure you were all ecstatic for your first day of high school, gym. And so I have prepared a special game for you all. The game's name is Killer. <laughs> the objective of the game is to be the last man standing alive. Hey, that's sexist. Silence, don't cough. <laughs> <laughs> to be eliminating your opponent, you shall be using live hand grenades. Really? Nine. Pfft, danke schön. You should be using balls. Rule number one, if you get hit with a ball, you're out. 
<laughs> Rule number two, if you catch a ball such as thrown at you, the person that threw it is also out. <laughs> rule number three. What is rule number three? <gasps> Silence. I will be asking the questions. Now get on the line. When the whistle blew, I descended into hell. Ah! 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 Hey, this thing ain't actually that bad. Pfft, mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I think he's dead. Hey, Big Newton, why don't you leave the court and we'll let you live. <laughs> Guys, I did it, I caught the ball. Nobody could believe it, but I had caught the ball. And that's just when Coach Horner blew the whistle. Would he come through for me? Would he show empathy and no more borders, children? <laughs> What does that mean? It means that you all may go wherever you like. Now I say let us all gang up on Paul and get this over with. No mercy. Well, now that's a load of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> After four, <gasps> five balls <laughs> exploded <clears throat> into my body. I blacked out. When I woke up, Coach Warner was standing over me, yelling at me that I had detention for a couple weeks after saying naughty words. <laughs> Eventually, the bullying quieted down a bit. But there was always one thing that was the same. Mary. Oh. <laughs> we were always the perfect couple for each other, in theory. <laughs> I just never had the right chance to ask her. And so, one day, a man asked a woman to an event of romance and lifelong devotion, the senior prom. When we got to the end of my driveway, I asked her in a friendly tone, Hey, Mary! <laughs> I was just wondering if, if you would like to come to the, to the prom with, with me. <laughs> sure, P. Fans. I mean... Paul? <laughs> I was ecstatic. I was telling Rangelo about it all the next day. All about the prom, 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 prom. Let me tell you this. Everybody gets laid. Everybody? Everybody, man! Why do you think people go to the dance? To dance? <laughs> <laughs> My head was spinning. Of all of the times I'd imagined myself in a relationship with Mary, sex had never entered the equation. I mean, sure, all us high school guys had our crushes and would stare at the overly developed girls' breasts, <laughs> same as the next guy. But we were all too busy keeping our grades up, playing sports, and... Oh my god. What if that was just me? What if everyone I knew was doing it? What if all this time while I was sat at home watching Benny Hill reruns with my father, people were engaged with the mature act of love? <laughs> By the time prom got around, I was a mess. This is your man OJ on the mic, and I've got a special song prepared here for my man P. Fizz. Take it away, P. Get it on, girl! Get it on with that big new tongue! All right, girls. Oh, oh my God, Mary, not here! Look, I'm glad you came to the prom. Yeah. I'm glad you asked me. <laughs> and it was at that moment that we both started to laugh. Not as people who had grown up next to each other our whole lives, but instead like brother and sister. <laughs> Mary wanted to go off with some of her friends. I didn't want to go with her any more than she wanted me to. I decided to head down to the local go-kart track. There I was, late at night, in my little hat in the rented tux and tiny car, zipping around that dirt track when I realized a few very important things. I realized that I shouldn't have let all those years of bullying get to me, or about not having sex. Instead, I was having fun on prom night. Okay, maybe names aren't everything, because I would forever be Paul 